With Queen Elizabeth's funeral today, I know that a lot of you had some questions like what happens to the royal fortune. King Charles III not only takes over the throne from his mother, but yes, he also takes in the monarchy's vast fortune. And Brandon Lewis from our National Verify team today is looking into the whether he'll have to pay taxes on his big inheritance. Before her death, Forbes estimated Queen Elizabeth II personally owned about $500 million in real estate jewelry, investments, and other assets. Normally, when a person passes away in the UK and their surviving children inherit their assets, they must pay an inheritance tax of 40%. But some social media users claimed King Charles won't have to pay anything. So let's verify. Is King Charles III exempt from inheritance tax? Our sources are the UK Parliament, His Majesty's Revenue and Customs, which collects taxes in the UK, and the royal family. For centuries, the monarch didn't pay any taxes. Queen Victoria began a trend of voluntarily paying some income tax during her reign, but that ended with George V. In 1993, amid criticism of the monarchy, Queen Elizabeth made an agreement with Parliament to voluntarily pay the nation's highest tier of income tax on her private income. In 2021, it was 45%. In exchange, the royal family would be exempt from a 40% inheritance tax. So, yes, King Charles III is exempt from inheritance tax. This means he does not have to pay 40% in taxes on the estimated $500 million estate he inherits from his mother. He also collects an annual payment from Parliament, which the Treasury Office says is not taxed. In 2021, the Queen received about $100 million tax-free. Charles is expected to voluntarily pay taxes on income from private investments and other personal assets. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.